Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to the Hovercam webinar on the wireless classroom. Can you guys hear me all right? Go ahead and throw a message in the chat if you're hearing me today. I see we already have some chat activity. All right, looks like you guys can hear me all right. Awesome. So um, yeah, let's see, we got some folks from Connecticut. Hi, Lori. Trisha, you're from Wisconsin. Oh, it's pretty warm over there. That's awesome. My name is Bailey Pearson. I am the Director of Product Marketing for Hovercam. I'm here in our sunny San Diego office right now where the weather is starting to get a little bit nippy. Um, but uh, we love, you know, the, the fall weather when it comes in because we don't normally get seasons per se. But anyways, I want to quickly go over some information that I've been collecting over my many years at Hovercam about the wireless classroom and a shift that I think we've all been noticing. Um, before we do that, you're, you guys are using the chat. Great. Keep using the chat, uh, especially it's a great place for uh, any questions that you might have or thoughts you might want to, to put forward. Um, it's a great place to go. And at the end of the webinar, just before the giveaway, we will do a Q&A. So I'm going to look at the chat. And uh, if Craig, who is in the chat right now, doesn't get to your question before I do, uh, I will, will try and cover that question. And maybe if there's uh, an important question that's asked, I'll, I'll, I'll repeat what Craig says. Um, so I'll, I might answer that question twice. But yes, there will be a giveaway at the end of the webinar. Uh, we're giving away our new Hovercam Recast wireless camera adapter. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. So. Um, Let's just jump into it real quick. The classroom is going wireless. Uh, we all know it, that's, that's why we're here. Um, the evidence for that is look at all of our classrooms going one-to-one. -one. Uh, most districts are already one-to-one -one, and most of the remaining districts are planning on going one-to-one -one with student devices. Um, I even see teachers, you know, uh, starting to say goodbye to the interactive flat panel or maybe not say goodbye to it, but maybe stop standing at the front so much and now they're adopting tablets or iPads or something that allows them to be more mobile. So why are we going wireless? Uh, that's a great question. So, you know, I think the main answer is, is student engagement. We're trying to keep our students engaged in the classroom. Uh, we're trying to, to um, uh, practice what, what we call teacher mobility. Uh, others I've heard refer to it as teacher agility. Um, so the real, the real, you know, uh, precipice of that is we're trying to unchain teachers from the front of the room. You know, most classrooms look one of two ways. Uh, there's, there's usually a teacher's desk and that desk is either in the back of the classroom, facing the backs of the students, the desk is facing the front so the teacher can kind of maintain some classroom management. Uh, and, and then maybe at the front of the room, there's there's an uh, interactive flat panel or a projector or a whiteboard or, or some sort of central teaching hub at the front where the students are directed to pay attention to. We are seeing teachers are starting to notice that as they unchain themselves from either their corner desk in the back or the front of the room, the stage where their, maybe their interactive panel or their interactive whiteboard is, they are seeing their students more engaged. So we're trying to increase teacher mobility. We're trying to get them to be able to move around the classroom more um, and, and also away from that corner desk where the teacher is sitting in the back corner. Now, of course, there's exceptions to this. Sometimes it's nice to be able to sit down uh, in the middle of class. And, you know, I think that's good to have a healthy balance. But in general, we do want to be moving and shaking more as, as educators. Um, so the other thing we're seeing is a rise in flex spaces and blended learning spaces. We're eliminating rows in the classroom. So we're getting rid of those rows we see of student heads all facing the front, facing the sage on the stage, and we're starting to break out into, into flex spaces where different parts of the classroom are designed for, for different purposes. And blended learning is, is another big part or a more uh, encapsulating version. Flex spaces is just a small part of blended learning, but we're seeing increases in engagement and test scores, frankly, uh, when we're, when we're uh, uh, engaging our students more and we're, we're mobilizing our teachers, we're cutting the cables. So 
Um, I, I want to cover one more thing about the wireless classroom too. It's, it's that uh, student empowerment is becoming more and more of an indicator for successful learning. So what is student empowerment? It's letting students teach. Instead of the teacher being the sage on the stage, hey, Johnny, come up here and show the class why you came to this answer or explain to us this, explain to us that. So uh, just put yourself back in high school for a moment and think about what would you be doing if your best friend was called upon to come up to the front of the room and show their answer on a, on a document camera? The whole class is gonna see their answer. What were you doing? You were probably paying attention because that's your best friend. Maybe you're like, oh man, I hope she gets it right. Or, oh, ha, ha, it would be so funny if he gets it wrong, right? You're engaged. That is the point. That's where, why we are empowering students. So we're shifting to wireless technology for a reason. And I want to cover one funny example that one of our customers, a teacher, gave me about shifting wireless. So this teacher is a, a biology teacher. I think uh, she would have been a 10th grade biology teacher. And um, she has a certain lab in her class. And maybe you guys remember doing this lab. Uh, it involves a Petri dish. So I don't know if you remember those Petri dishes. It's those glass dishes where it basically has, uh, you, you swab something like the bottom of your phone or your wallet or your hands, or your fingernails, and it collects, the swab collects the bacteria and you put it on that Petri dish and you hide that Petri dish away from a couple days. So all of these students had swabbed their dirty places and put that swab on that Petri dish and they tucked them away for days and let that bacteria grow on this Petri dish. And uh, I, I don't remember if it was a week later or maybe two or, or, or what have you, but uh, eventually it comes to a point where all the students get to share their Petri dish with the class. And this teacher would have their student one at a time come up to the front of the room and put their Petri dish under the document camera, which is casting up to the big screen, and every student gets to see what has been growing in their Petri dish. Pretty cool, right? Pretty engaging. There's only one problem. One day, as a student was walking to the front to put their Petri dish under the camera, the student that was before them is walking back, carefully holding their Petri dish as to not spill it. And what do you think happened? That's right. Both students smacked into each other. Petri dishes go flying, bacteria is everywhere. The whole class is screaming. It was a nightmare. It was not good. So we, don't want to do that. And that teacher got an idea. She said, now I'm never going to do that again. I'm never going to have my students come up to the front. I am going to go to my students. I am going to bring my camera to my student. How are you going to do that with a wired camera? How are you going to do that if you're stuck at the corner desk? You're not going to bring your whole desk over to the students. So she played around with a couple ideas. One of them I'm going to show you right now. So the first idea she had, let me progress the slide here, is this little guy. Perhaps you have seen something like this before. Yes, that is the AV cart, the good old fashioned AV cart. You know, back in the day when I was in school, the teacher would bring in an AV cart with an old tube TV on it on a rainy day, and that's when you know you're gonna have a great day at school because, hey, we get to watch a movie today. But today, AV carts are in the classroom all the time, and sometimes they look like this. Do you guys notice anything wrong with this picture? Yeah, it's messy. It's a lot of wires. We're trying to go wireless. Well, this teacher can't go wireless yet because there wasn't the technology then, but she was trying to go mobile she was trying to be more mobile so that she can cart her technology, including what we see here, a document camera, a laptop. I see, is that a projector down there? An AV switcher, some power cables, some USB cables. It's just a mess, right? So now that teacher had another problem. She ran into this messy AV cart problem. 
okay? And it wasn't until she found a wireless document camera that she fully realized the power of wireless technology. Here's another picture of a messy AV cart that I found. So yeah, the wireless document camera was a wonderful, wonderful opportunity to not only you know become more mobile as a teacher, but to also engage her students more. Okay, so um, the 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 problem with the messy AV cart, though, of course, is the cables. So now we're trying to cut the cables, and we're we're entering this new frontier of wireless cameras. But there's other problems that we're encountering. I am a person of habit, and I think sometimes that I would rather rely on a good old fashioned wired device than a wireless one. Because the wire pretty much always works, right? Let's use, again, document cameras as an example. If you plug your camera into your computer with a USB cable and you open up your camera app, it's gonna come up. Like wires don't really break unless you actually cut them or break the connector or something. Wires work. So how many of you have had a problem with a wireless product? Go ahead, put it in the chat. Raise your hand if you've had any Wi-Fi headaches. Raise your hand if you've ever come to a point where you're like, you know what, I would rather just do the wired thing because it works. I don't have to set up any passwords. I don't need to download any special software. I don't need to install drivers. My internet, what's gonna happen to my internet, right? All of these problems have ran through my head many times and I end up choosing the wired device. Yeah, I see in the chat, Tracy, Wi-Fi is a struggle. That's right. The network, security, safety, right? We're worried about hackers. Anytime you put another wireless product in your classroom, your, your IT team has to come up with some sort of security protocol, make sure it's safe, make sure it's compatible. So one of the big uh, challenges with wireless products that we're coming up against, especially not just for IT people, but also for teachers is the setup. Setting up wireless devices is a headache. It is such a big nightmare. Oftentimes you're asked to download some sort of special software. You need to install a driver of some sort, right? You need to download a driver off of a website. And you know what happens all the time, especially with Windows. Have you guys ever been like stopped in your tracks by a Windows software update? I have, like when I'm about to do a webinar and Windows tries to update my software and I'm like, oh no, I thought I had automatic updates on and all this stuff, but guess what? Every time you get an automatic update, the drivers for your camera that you just installed are actually out of date. You need to go find new drivers and reinstall those. That's where teachers are on the phone with IT submitting tickets. It's a nightmare, right? So software, drivers, there's the security risk we talked about. It, entering passwords, entering MAC addresses. Um, it even slows down your internet once you're connected. Think about that. Have you ever dealt with slow internet? I deal with it at home, right? My Netflix is going too slow because, you know, someone upstairs is watching Netflix. Imagine putting 100 4K cameras on your wireless network in one school. That's just crazy. Your network is going to be so slow. <clears throat> so how do we solve these problems? Well, at Hovercam, uh, we have uh, some great solutions for that. So I want to jump in to show you how we can help solve your wireless network problems, your wireless camera problems. Get your teachers mobile without the struggle, without the pain. We want to unchain your teachers. We want to cut those cables and get them to be mobile throughout their classroom to go from student desk to student desk without worrying about, shoot, what if my Wi-Fi goes down? Oh, shoot, I need to download this new driver, this new software, because our cameras just did an update, right? So let me show you some of our solutions. I'm going to get up real quick and widen up the camera and invite you to the Hovercam classroom. So, yes, this is our Hovercam classroom. Um, this is our San Diego studio where we do a lot of product testing. Sometimes we do photo shoots and videos and stuff, but this is the proving grounds for all of our technology. And I wanna start by introducing you to the Hovercam Orbit. Now, this isn't just another wireless camera. This is 
a no Wi-Fi, gigabit speed, plug and play wireless document camera. What does that even mean? Sounds like I'm talking crazy talk right now. This little guy is the receiver that it comes with. On the back, you might not be able to see this very well, but there are two ports, a HDMI port and a USB port. These ports, you can connect this little dongle, this little magic box to any computer with that USB port. PC, Mac, Chromebook, even an Android interactive flat panel like you see behind me, and it instantly connects. There's no software, there's no drivers, there's no passwords to enter, no Wi-Fi networks. In fact, this is at a frequency that's five times higher than Wi-Fi. So what that means is it's impenetrable uh, as security goes. It's unhackable. No one has the technology or equipment to be able to hack into this camera. And you also must be in the same room to hack it. So unless someone's going to wheel in a giant hacking mobile office, they're not going to be able to hack this. It's super safe. It doesn't slow down your Wi-Fi because it's not even close to being on the network. Every other wireless document camera, every other wireless document camera, I promise you, is on a Wi-Fi frequency. So even if they say you don't need to log this into your network or add it to your network, it still is going to actually impact the network speed of your classroom Wi-Fi. It's true. So this is completely off the network. And the best part about this, the best part about this camera is it's plug and play. This little box handles all of those challenges of passwords and software and drivers. You don't need to do any of that. When you plug this into your computer with the little USB cable we give you, your computer thinks that there's a wired camera plugged in. Just like when you plug like a webcam into your computer and you go to like Zoom, right? And you're able to go and select a camera and you see your webcam as an option. That's because at the system level, your computer knows that there is a camera plugged in and it's using USB technology. So this is the world's first wireless USB camera. The, what that means is when you connect it to your computer with a single cable, you do not need to go download some sort of special software. You do not need to install some sort of special driver. It just works. You plug it in and you can open up any app, any camera app. Here's some examples. On uh, Microsoft Windows, you have just the basic camera app. You just click on camera. You could do Zoom, Microsoft Teams, Google Meet. On Apple, you can open up uh, FaceTime or, or there's a QuickTime player. You can open up a video stream with that. And most importantly, your LMS. If your LMS or your teaching software has a camera plugin, you can open that up and the camera will pop up. So in this instance right now, I have my camera connected to this interactive flat panel behind me. Let me just rotate it real quick. And we're getting amazing 4K quality at 60 frames per second. This is pretty awesome. It's a little bright for you, but I promise here, it looks really good. It's not overexposed. That's just my camera here. So, um, and, and this is a new line interactive flat panel, I believe. And so all I need to do is plug it in with a single USB cable, click on the camera app and it will pop up and it will open up. Okay, so this is the Hovercam Orbit. It's an amazing tool for the teacher, but what about the student? Check this out. I can come over here and put my camera in front of my student's work. And now we're able to see my student's work up on the big screen. Let's pretend that this is little Johnny's desk and this is where he sits. Remember what we talked about at the, er at the beginning of the webinar, what are all of Johnny's friends doing when Johnny's work is being shown up on the board? They're engaged, they're paying attention. They're gonna see, oh, did Johnny get it right? Did Johnny get it wrong? Is Johnny about to get laughed at? That is the power of student empowerment, of teacher mobility, eliminating this sage on the stage mentality where I'm the teacher, I'm gonna teach, you're gonna pay attention to me. No, 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 that's not working anymore, especially when we do it five hours a day 
every day of the week, right? We need to mix things up and let's move around the classroom and show our students work on the big screen. So that is the Hovercam Orbit. Now I've had a lot of questions of price, for example. Lots of schools say, oh man, we just bought new USB cameras and they're the good old fashioned, you know, let's let's say they're IPVOs or Elmos or Avers or even our Hovercam Solo 8 like this one. This is a wired camera, just a good old fashioned, plug it in with the cable and it turns on. I don't wanna get rid of those. Um, I don't, maybe I don't have the budget to upgrade to a wireless camera, right? We have something new for that. So we took the idea of the Hovercam Orbit with that plug and play wireless. And we said, you know what? We want to be able to make any camera wireless, any USB camera. So take our Solo 8 Plus, for example. I want to be able to make this wireless. How am I going to do that? That is all thanks to the new Hovercam Recast. Now, this little box looking thing is actually a wireless camera adapter, and it works with your USB camera. So I'll show you how this works. You have this little box up here. That's where all the computer and antennas and stuff are. Uh, but this flat surface is where your camera mounts to. So I'll just unplug this for a second. Notice this, ready? Boom, magnetized. So this magnetic base right here is where you set your camera. And if you look on the side, you'll notice there's two ports here. There is an HDMI port and a USB port. That is for connecting your camera. So as long as it is a USB camera, I'm going to plug it in right here to the back of my camera and plug the other end into the USB port. And now the Hovercam Recast is connecting. So let me turn this on real quick. And I'm going to go over here and switch to my other dongle. And this is what the receiver looks like again. It's just a little box. And it actually comes with a pretty cool mount for your interactive panel. But you could plug this in to your laptop, for example. This is a Windows laptop right here. But you could also plug it into a Mac, a Chromebook, in this case, an interactive flat panel. So this is an Android interactive flat panel. And these Android interactive flat panels have apps, right? Right? You can go through all of your apps. We are going to choose the camera app because we just plugged the camera in. And look what we have here. Our wired camera is now fully wireless. How cool is that? And look at how fast it is, right? It is high quality 4k video it supports up to 4k video so if you have a camera like our solo 8 plus here that is capable of 4k speeds you can get 4k video streaming to something like an interactive flat panel right plug and play you notice i didn't need to enter any passwords i didn't need to open any drivers or software it's you plug the box in and it pops up as a camera input takes about like 10 seconds to connect. And once it's connected, you just click on it, click on your app, open it up and choose the recast as your camera input and it's open. I didn't do any setup prior to, to what you just saw. That was literally live. I just totally switched cameras here. I unplugged one of the receivers and I plugged the other one in. So this little box is factory paired to this box right here. And they wirelessly create their own link, their own network. So you don't have to fool around with any network settings. You don't need to download any software or drivers. Um, you know, and there's other wireless cameras real quick. I'll, I'll go back for a second that when you connect them to your computer wirelessly, your computer actually loses internet because what they create is a point to point network. This isn't doing that. You're still gonna have internet on your laptop. In fact, you don't need to touch any network settings on your PC, your Mac, your Chromebook, your interactive flat panel. Uh, you could even plug this into an iPad, by the way. USB-C, right? Plug it into the new iPad, open up uh, FaceTime or camera, and it's going to pop up as a camera input. That's pretty cool. So what this means is you are now future-proof. Let's say one day you upgrade 
your camera for a new camera. As long as it's USB, you're gonna have wireless. So you're never gonna get stuck in some ecosystem where this is only compatible with certain cameras. Let me prove it to you real quick. Here's another camera. This is, perhaps you might recognize it. This is not a hover cam. This is one of our competitors' cameras. And it's a simple device. It just, it's wired, you plug it in and it just works. Let's try it with the recast. So let's go over the steps again. You plug it into the device. You go to your interactive panel. Here's the receiver that I just plugged in. It looks like this, right? Plugged it in via USB-C. And now there's a little light blinking on it, telling me it's connecting. I'm not doing any connecting. I'm not doing any setup. I'm not searching for it. Connecting takes a bit of a second here. And now we're connected. So open up the camera app again. There we go. We're connected. Let's flip this around to the other side. So I just connected one of our competitors' cameras. I turned it into a wireless super camera. So think about your district. What cameras do you have right now? Have you considered going wireless? If they are USB cameras, you can make them wireless with just plugging it into this little box right here. By the way, this does have a battery in it. That's how we're able to use this wirelessly. People get concerned, what if I run out of battery in the middle of class? Great question. This little guy lasts for 10 plus hours of wireless casting. So it'll get you through a day, maybe even two, right? So a couple other questions we get a lot is, does this require line of sight? This does not, the recast does not require line of sight. Um, <clears throat> As long as it is within network distance, it will be connected. So the receiver that I have mounted onto the panel, I just have it up there because it's conveniently placed. Um, you do not need line of sight. Now you don't wanna bury it in like a metal box where it can't get a connection. Um, but in most classrooms, actually in all classrooms, you're gonna be fine. There's gonna be no problems with connecting. So um, yeah. So that's our new Hovercam recast. We are super excited about it. And again, if you need to remember anything about it, it's that it's plug and play. There's no drivers, there's no software, there's no apps. Now we do have an amazing software called Hovercam Flex, which is free. So you can download it from our website right now. It's a free document camera software. We're actually gonna open up that software and let any camera use our software, including our, our competitors' cameras. So that's pretty exciting. It's like I lost my camera there for a second, but we're good. Um, so yes, the Hovercam recast is also a lot more affordable than like a full wireless document camera, like our super powerful Hovercam Orbit. So if budget is a constraint and you don't wanna just upgrade to an all-in-one super wireless camera, then the recast might be the answer for you because not only is it super budget friendly, but you're also not gonna have to throw away all of your USB cameras. Let's stop throwing stuff away. Uh, let's think about the environment for a second and let's put these, these guys to work again, right? So our teachers can be mobile again without breaking the bank. Our teachers can teach from anywhere in the classroom thanks to the Hovercam Orbit and the Hovercam Recast. But there's one more tool I wanna show you guys real quick. And that is the pilot digital teaching station. Let me roll that into the frame here. Can you guys see this? This is the Pilot X. This is like the culmination of wireless teaching technology. We took every single wireless technology that a teacher might wanna use, every uh, primary teaching tool, and we put it into one wireless station. Let me raise it a little bit here. So. This might look like an alien spaceship from your perspective. So I'll break it down real quick for you. Um, as you can see, it's a podium. <laughs> to start, it's a podium. Uh, I know you can't see below it, but there are no wires. It's completely wireless. I can wheel it anywhere in the room. And the podium also has something on top of it, a screen, right? Now, this isn't just any podium with a screen. It's actually, a wireless tablet built in. 
So let me put this podium to the side for a second. This is the Pilot X tablet. So what you'll see is it has a 13 inch touchscreen right here, a fold out document camera. People are probably wondering what the heck is that thing? It's a document camera and check this out. I can stow it away if I want to. Look at that. Now I just have a tablet. Tablet computer, this is running Windows 11. Uh, they are Windows tablets. And again, I can pop out that document camera just like this. And I can take it to my students' desks. Let me show you the software here. So you can see behind me on the screen, the software is running and you can see the camera. I can take it to Johnny's desk, right? And we can see Johnny's work up on the big screen. So this is an interactive flat panel where I can be annotating on Johnny's work. Let me make sure you can see that because I know you're kind of far away. Let me make the line a little thicker right here. So I'm gonna circle number two on Johnny's work. I can also come over to my tablet, right? And I can annotate on my tablet. Can you see the annotations up on the screen? So this is bi-directional annotation. Folks, do you see what's going on here? Let me pause the screen so I can lift this up. Boom. I can pick up my interactive panel and I can walk around the room with it, right? So not only do I have to keep turning my back to my students anymore, I can now face my students and go anywhere in the classroom annotating on my interactive flat panel. So. See that? I'm annotating right there. Bi-directional touch, annotating up here. All doing that from right here on this tablet. Now, why do we need this podium? Well, the podium is a smart podium. It charges our tablet, keeps our tablet charged, because the podium has a battery in here as well. The podium also has a magnetic surface. We have these little magnets where we can hold up a document. And let's actually go back to that document real quick. Clear that, unpause it, and there you go. Now you can see my document right here and I can face my students with my podium. I can also raise and lower the height of my podium in case you wanna sit with it or you have shorter teachers. There's also a built-in pop-out keyboard, right? This is like the Lexus of digital podiums, guys. We have like a pop-out keyboard. Come on, that's pretty awesome. Uh, Oh, and we can tilt it, by the way. So there you go, now it's flat, right? You wanna use it more as a desktop instead of a podium. Last thing I'll show you with the podium is I can fold up this tablet. So now it's just a portable tablet. And if I wanna charge it overnight and I don't want my tablet to walk away on me overnight, if you know what I mean, I can tuck it in the tablet storage bay where there is a lock, right? I can lock it up and now my tablet is charging overnight safe and sound in my little inconspicuous coffee table. <laughs> All right, let's turn it back into a podium. Last thing about this podium you should know is it's using the same wireless technology as our Orbit wireless document camera. It's casting that 4K video to my display here without using Wi-Fi. No Wi-Fi, it's point to point. There is a receiver up on the top of that panel that you can see. It's got a USB port for those new USB displays, and it also comes with an adapter if you have a HDMI display. Interactive panel, projector, TV. You plug that little receiver box into your display and Pilot X automatically connects. No Wi-Fi, there's no setup, there's no networking, there's no software you need to download to make it work. It's plug and play. So the theme of our new wireless classroom is wireless without the hassle. We're trying to cut the cables without strings attached. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> no strings attached, right? And those strings that are usually attached are, you gotta enter this password. You have to download this software. You have to install these drivers. It's just oh, such a pain sometimes. And teachers are losing valuable class time. We need to spend more time teaching and less time trying to connect stuff and troubleshooting our technology, right? We need it to work every time. Plug it in and it just works, right? So that's the theme of our wireless technology. All the other competitors out there who use wireless technology are using Wi-Fi. We're the only ones that aren't. So it's plug and play. Um, so yeah, we're just trying to, to get uh, students more engaged. We're trying to get teachers more mobile 
and uh, more connected without all of the, uh, you know, steps you have to run through with normal technology. So yeah, that is the tour of the wireless classroom. And before I uh, jump into the giveaway, I want to check out some questions here. Any questions in the chat that haven't been answered yet? Let me just do a quick scroll and then we'll jump into the giveaway. Yeah. Looks like Craig Justice has answered a lot of questions in here. Thank you, Craig. I see people are asking about price. Great question. Um, so uh, I'm not gonna tell you pricing on here. I'm gonna let your reseller tell you the pricing um, because they might be able to get you a better price than what we can offer. So um, I would recommend if you're interested in any of these technologies, whether it be the Orbit, this is the all-in-one camera, right? The Recast, which is the adapter that turns your already existing cameras into a wireless camera, or the Pilot X, which is behind me over here, contact your reseller. Uh, if you're wondering what resellers uh, work with us, uh, I'll just say most of them do. Uh, I don't, I can't think of anyone we don't work with. So if you have a reseller where you purchase your technology from, ask them about Hovercam and uh, they can get you a quote. Um, if you don't have a, a reseller, I'll just email us and we'll get you connected. If you need pricing right now, just contact us. We'll, we'll get you pricing on that. So let me see any other questions. What's the battery life on that base that is under the Elmo cam? Great question. 10 plus hours. The Recast has a built-in battery that gets you 10 plus hours of wireless use. So as long as you plug it in at the end of the day and charge it up for tomorrow, you're going to be good. You're not going to run out of battery. So um, 10 hours is, is actually pretty awesome, you know? So, oh, uh, one other thing with the Orbit, there is built-in recording and there's a built-in microphone, of course. Um, so you can actually record videos or take snapshots. There's some little buttons right here, uh, play, pause, recording, um, freeze the video or take a snapshot. So um, you can record uh, videos onto your device. Tracy's asking, what about the dongle plugged into your flat panel back there? Or can it get power via USB from the panel? It can get power via USB from the panel. Um, the dongle is actually just plugged in with just a USB cable. You don't actually need to use the HDMI. So when you're using just the USB cable, it's like when you plug it into your computer. Not only does the video flow from the dongle to the computer, but the, the, the computer is powering the dongle all through one USB cable. So the only time you need to provide power to the dongle is when you're doing HDMI and it can get power from that panel. If you have a USB port on the back of your panel, just connect your dongle via USB and HDMI and then go to a, an, an HDMI port on your input and it will, will come up. But normally, if you're just going USB and you open up your camera app or you go to your LMS and open up camera or something like that, you don't need uh, to provide power to the dongle. The USB connection is providing power. So, okay, um, let's wrap it up because I know we're uh, over time here. Let's do a giveaway. Uh, lastly, someone asks, is there a new dongle for the Pilot X? Um, that dongle that we use now has been around for about three years or so. So depends on what you mean by new. It's three years new. <laughs> but no, that dongle that you see up there is the same one we've been shipping with for a while. Okay, it's time to give away. And we're giving away the Hovercam Recast. Not the camera itself, but the wireless adapter. So if you have a camera, a USB camera, it could be a document camera, like our Solo 8 Plus or Solo Spark. Any USB camera with a USB port will work with the recast. You can also use like a webcam or something